When we started the company, I was living in Williamsburg, where I'd been living at that point for probably three or four years. Now that we've moved into our second office, it was really important for me to keep the office in Brooklyn. And so I was really focused on making sure that we stayed in the borough. And you know, now we're in downtown Brooklyn, which is really accessible. In fact, people don't know this, but it's actually the biggest transit hub in all of New York City. Jay and I were talking about this in late summer and then into the fall in 2012, and we started sketching out how it might work and then took a basic system architecture to an engineer who eventually became actually our first employee and he's still here with us today, and we built a prototype with his help. We started shipping our product in October last year and we've now moved into retail as well, which is really exciting. We have you know, tens and tens of thousands of people who are using the product already, and it's a wide you know, range of people. You have hikers and other people who do activities in the outdoors. You have people who travel abroad or to rural areas. You have emergency preppers who are preparing for you know, anything from the apocalypse to zombies. And then you also have people who go to crowded events. I mean, you know, when you boil down what we, what we do is we enable connectivity, communication when it's otherwise not available. And communication is really the basis of almost everything we do. So it can just be applied in so many different ways. The founders of Gotenna are myself and my sister. Uh, we both grew up in Brazil, came to the US about a little bit over a decade ago for each one of us, came here for college, and have been here ever since. So the concept first came around late 2012. I was at a, uh, it's a music festival, a few of them, and I could never communicate with anyone. I'd get lost on the way to the porta potties or something like that. And it was very frustrating to get back in touch with people. And that's kind of where the idea of like, wait, you know, we have these cell phones in our pockets that are supposed to be communications devices, but the moment you have a lot of people in an area or there was a disaster hit, and Sandy hit about a couple months after that, it really kind of crystallized the concept if the central infrastructure supporting them are down. And many times when they're down is precisely when you need communications the most. So we started kind of looking for how, you know, how can we find a way to turn the smartphones that are already in your pocket into communications devices you know, independently, no matter what, in a variety of different environments. And that's where you know, the concept came out of it. And as we started building that out, we realized that there was a lot more applications than just you know, recreational events and disasters. And it can really grow into something that could really enable basic communications for people all over the world. Gotenna is a small piece of hardware and it pairs with your phone wirelessly over Bluetooth. And it allows you to send text messages, GPS coordinates, and other kinds of short bits of data to other cell phones that also have a Gotenna with them up to several miles around you. And you know the idea being that if you're in a situation where you don't have regular connectivity, like cell towers or Wi-Fi or any of those traditional networks, because you're hiking or skiing or there's a natural disaster or you're at a big you know, concert, you can still communicate and find the people that you're with no matter what, anywhere in the world. We are really excited that you know, our views have been really positive and that our challenge and the opportunity now is just more people need to know that this isn't even an option that exists. So anyone who's interested you know, in the Brooklyn or New York City area in developing a hardware product to check out the different hacker spaces around the city because that's actually a part of where we started as well. I met our first engineer and you know, our first prototype came out of a hacker space in Gowanus uh, called Resistor. It's a nice community and a great resource to know about. So you can get Gotenna at gotenna.com and you can also get it at any REI nationwide and Amazon as well. Uh, you know, this is the first product. We are planning other products in the future that we hope will address, you know, specific needs. How might we connect the truly disconnected people who live on just a few dollars a day who don't have smartphones? So, you know, I think we have a lot of ideas. We certainly have plenty, plenty of ideas to keep us busy for a few years.